Did you know that there is an awesome magazine for us perfume lovers? It's called Nay. I'm going to tell you all about this magazine, so please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time landing on my channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, discovering new things about fragrances like Nay Magazine, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, participating in giveaways, and still have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Now this is a magazine called Nay. Um, I'd known about it for quite some time, but they finally started printing it in English. It's from France. And a year or so ago, the owner of the company, I think his name is Dominique, he came to um, ZGO Perfumery here in, here in San Francisco, and he did a presentation about this magazine. And I love everything about perfume, so I want to study, learn, read, all that kind of stuff. And uh, there's a great magazine out there for us perfume lovers, perfumistas, fragheads, whatever you want to call it. And it's called Ney, and Ney basically means nose in French, right? Is that correct? That's exactly what it means. Um, so if you're at all into the idea of learning about perfumes and maybe discovering fragrances and things like that by reading, because a magazine has chock full of articles and amazing uh, writing, and of course articles and little, little snippets about different perfumes, and they do articles about specific styles, and they'll list the different perfumes, classics, modern ones, and uh, in the back there it's usually pages and pages and pages of um, fragrances that are either currently on the market or appearing or have been around for a couple of months or something like that. But it's a great magazine that you all should know about if you don't know it. The fragrance magazine, Nay, is sold at RZGO Perfumery here in San Francisco. Um, it is uh, there that I pick my copies up. Um, and if you're at all here in San Francisco, you can always stop in and pick up the latest edition. Um, I only have four. And it's been since the four that um, I've been getting the magazine. But I'm always looking forward to the next one because I love reading about perfumes, as I said. I'm going to go through the latest magazine a little bit with you so that you just find out about what's going on. But I do have to put my glasses on because I can't freaking read without glasses on. Anyway, so Nay always has this cutout uh, on the magazines. Like this is, this is the latest, which is Autumn Winter 2018. This is spring summer 2018. This is uh, autumn winter 2017. And this is spring summer 2017. So those are how the magazines are. But we're going to go ahead and flip through the latest edition here. There should be a new one coming out within the next couple of months. But uh, retails for about $25, $24 in the US. So it's more like a book to me, but. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great read. It's awesome. So you should definitely check it out. All right, so basically, the artwork in here is quite amazing. And, um, but obviously this is, see, as you can see, some, you can go to the different pages as they recommend, but there are some great, great, um, write-ups in here and of course great photography with the different uh, perfumes and then of course ads and things like that it's it's very playful magazine I think it's not very serious which makes it a lot more interesting and I love the cartoony kind of uh, quirky um, drawings and things like that so in here we have This great article called Odorama. They talk about vanilla, lily, sport fragrances. And in here you can see some of the stuff they're talking about. And then they also list, um, see this one, this article is about vanillin and they'll list fragrances that are, are gonna contain vanillin. So you learn a lot. I mean, it's very, very educational. And then you have the lily and then they list some fragrances here about the lily. And then you've got that uh, snippet about sport 
fragrances, and let's see what they list here. I guess they don't really list um, split fragrances. Very, very interesting articles. Lots of reading. I mean, it's worth it. $24, and you get to learn a lot about perfumery. And then there's a lot of artwork, as you can see. There's a lot of thought put into this uh, magazine, which makes it uh, for very, very interesting and very educational reading about perfumes. I mean, those of you that are geeks about perfumes, um, this is very, very interesting for you to try to get. Um, I think you can order it from uh, ZGO Perfumery as well. But here, um, this particular article is talking about Indonesian patchouli, as you can see here. And then the article shows a lot of photos on how they, you know, cultivate it and grow it and all that kind of stuff. And then there are some famous patchouli fragrances that they recommend, which is cool because they have this uh, patchouli absolute from Tom Ford, the Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel, patchouli from Lorenzo Villarezzi, I think that's who it is, Angel, of course, and then uh, Remenis, I think that's uh, patchouli from Reminiscence. Anyway, P patchouli from Reminiscence. Very, very cool articles. And then you have like iconic perfumers. This one's Isabel Doyen here. Worth reading, and you can find out about the perfumer and her fa famous uh, creations right here. Um, then they do an article about the 80s, and this one's got 80s, and you know, talks about sillage and excess. Of course, the 80s fragrances were all about you know, sillage and leaving a trail. And then the back, they have this article, Fantasy Perfumery, and then Fragrance is suggested for those uh, people. Here, Mind and Body. Very interesting article. This one I glanced through for a bit. And then, I want to show you the, the very, very cool part about this magazine. In the end, at the end, they have... Here's a, a quick uh, article about Mila Vermeer, which I've done a few videos about. And then they profile her fragrances right here, which is cool. And then last but not least, this is really cool. I love this. This is kind of like a, like a timeline of different perfumes. And you get to see... And then finally, uh, this. Like a, it's like a little Bible of different uh, fragrances and you can glance through and read about them. Here they have Orage, one of my favorites from the men's collection, Louis Vuitton. And you know, you just read about them. New releases that you might want to know about, and then you discover, learn, educate yourself. And that's my favorite section for this magazine or book, um, The End, because you get to learn about new fragrances. And I love learning about new fragrances. Anyway, that's Nay, guys. I don't know if you know about this magazine or if you subscribe to it. If you don't, check it out. You can always contact ZGO Perfumery and get yourself a copy. Uh, I'm sure they'll ship. Um, $24. It's only twice a year, which is great. This one's number six. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about Nay Magazine on this channel. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please list below. Let me know if you're already a subscriber of this magazine or if you've already bought issues. Uh, I believe any big perfume shops should carry this magazine. Uh, as I said, here in San Francisco, it's ZGO Perfumery. If you have a big perfume shop like ZGO Perfumery in your town, they might carry the magazine as well. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this video and learning about Nay Magazine. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Otherwise, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye. We wanted to make a cultural magazine, something that let people understand that it's more than uh, uh, cosmetics. That's lots. It has a lot more to say uh, than, than that. So, uh, so that's why. So to go.
quite <coughs> so quick about the magazine itself. Uh, you, you have several sequences here. It's about more um, scientific part here. So each time we have some kind of uh, uh, so a plant. So we talk about some kind of plant. Yeah, it's black currant. So we say I use it in in, um, in a cuisine, in a kitchen food. Uh, perfume, so it's not always always about perfume, so, uh, but so mainly. <laughs> uh, you <clears throat> here, as you can see, perfume that's uh, really cool stuff when it's drawn like that. So it's molecules. <laughs> and it's it's time each time it's about uh, you know uh, uh, how do you say a synthetic here. So we describe synthetic molecules and the way it has been uh, invented and, and created. So flowers, why do they have this, a smell? Mm -hmm. So we try to explain that. And here we have the car. So we have articles and we uh, try to take each, so each thing that's connected to cars and, to tr and, and we try to describe how it smells. And then it's connected, this article usually it's connected to the, the car here. Mm -hmm. So you have the, the, you know, the magic tree mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's, it's Fuel grease, leather, tar. I don't even know what it means. Tar. 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 Tar, right? Tar. tar. Yes. T A R. Tar. Is yeah. That yeah. It's, that's it's a, 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 a oil product. product. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Good 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 yeah, don't hit the road. Sniff yeah. it. <laughs> and so it's as, asphalt smell fragrance, you know. And the next one will be about weed. So it, it, it's got a smell of weed here. Oh. And here it will be. <laughs> <laughs> and here it will be about that. Um, smell of drugs in general so and here so here it's very something quite specific because it's a letter to a perfumer from Jean-Claude Elena you know the perfumer from Hermès mm -hmm. and so he wanted he, he, he contacted so he came to us because he wanted to write this in May but we were very, very proud of that of course mm -hmm. and then in October we will publish his auto, autobiography of Jean-Claude wow let me call him Jean-Claude, mm -hmm. Jean-Claude Elena. Um, so here, that's the correspondence, the connections part. That's where we try to draw connections between olfaction, perfume, and other uh, artistic areas. And here it's about Baudelaire uh, and its re relationship to smell and to, and to perfume. And the first one, it was about, so only in French, it was about uh, uh, Aragon. <laughs> Trying to say it in English, you know, Aragon. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry. Aragon. 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 You know the poet. Aragon. Aragon. No idea. And uh, <laughs> uh, and here it's that's funny because that's you know we had someone going to a place and smelling it and then writing some kind of brief for a photographer uh, who, who goes there afterwards and then make pictures. Uh, and then we have the text, and then we are, here we have the pictures. Here, I can show you something really so disgusting. Uh, have you ever been in the Parisian metro? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> Many but times. In the middle of summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have this. I, I love this. You have, so you have worse after that. You have this. So that's not everywhere. Not so I have no idea where they found that, but it exists actually. And um, that's very nice. Mm -hmm. And so here is the olfactive description, and here is the interpretation from mm -hmm. the photographer. You know. And and here it was nicer because it was at uh, the Opéra Garnier. You know. mm. So that's yeah, okay. That's that's pretty mm -hmm. in a way. Um, and then <laughs> I go on, I have the impression of you know, to be on the bar market and just selling something. And I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Here, so that's about coffee. We don't speak very much about food. In the first one, we had an interview with Alain Passard, who was a big chef in France. And then in the second one, it was about a guy specialized in, in, in wine and uh, the, the, the link between uh, olfaction and wine. So, And here it was about a guy talking about coffee, but that the only incursion in the food area, and uh, usually we stay close, very close, only to olfaction. And here there was olfactive art, this was kind of a défilé. Uh, you see people looking at them are blinded, mm. are blindfolded, and then 
and but there were a few mm -hmm. the people working on the on the for the defile. Mm -hmm. He's an artist uh, from Belgium or Netherlands. Uh, I never know <coughs> one of them. Uh, and here, so we always have something about a natural uh, material, natural ingredient. Uh, here is vanilla. Uh, so we explain. I, I just the, the culture and the way it's um, transformed and kind of this kind of stuff. Here we have an interview. The first one it was with Mathilde Laurent from Cartier, and the second one Jean Claude Elena. And here, do you recognize him? Children, uh, yes. What, what, what is his most famous perfume? La Mal. Bravo. <laughs> Le Mal. Le Mal. Le Mal. Fragile, au noir, iris nobile. So some, we have some perfume here described. And here is a historical part, more the roaring 20s. So, and then that's funny part, the fantasy boutique. That's so the woman writing it. it she uh, imagines uh, some so, someone coming here. You know, someone famous coming here, and she has to to find a perfume for the for this person. And here you have Al Capone. And he has also, do you have Profumam Roma? No, no, not the brand. And uh, I loved in the, in the second one, it was a fictional character of the 80, 90s, and you had uh, Homer Simpson. <laughs> and, and she recommended, she recommends uh, a, a perfume of Etat Libre d'Orange, it was Fat Electrician. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this one. And uh, so that's very, so that's very, very. Funny, interesting to read. And the sex of scent, that's the main dossier. Here is the sex of scent. Here it was olfaction in general, and the, the, in the second one it was about the smell of clean and uh, dirty. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and that's why, where you learn for us that's in the US, the, the, the um, uh, citrus or lemon, so I never know. Uh, so it's connected to, so that's the smell of. Uh, 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 clean, yes, Kindness. exactly. Yeah. But uh, um, so I, I always forget. Sorry, because I'm gonna say something stupid, yeah. and I'm filmed, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, I guess I say in Brazil. In Brazil, it's uh, fenouil. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, wow. that's that's very interesting to to notice. I so I so cultural. Mm -hmm. So it's. Because it won't be cleaner, so uh, it's always clean, you know, when you wash your, your clothes, usually. So. But what is very important is the smell, what it smells. In, in every culture, it, the, the smell will tell you if it's clean or not. But depending to the culture, it's not the same so smell. And in France, it will be what? Um, Eau de Javel? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 but Eau de Javel is quite, you know, that's not Strong, for your clothes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, la Lavande. La la lavender. Lavender. La lavender, you know, lavender, lavender. it's the same thing that's lavé, a wash, mm. lavé is lavé, yeah. wash is lavé, yeah. 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 and um, so that's the main dossier about gender, uh, so we try to explain how perfume is not, so it's like colors, it's not uh, uh, from the beginning, uh, 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 so some color or some smell are not especially for men or women so mm -hmm. yeah. but yet there is an historical way of for things to 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 evolve and to 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 be adopted for uh, by a sex or another it depends on a, a lot of things it's very moving a moving thing and so that's what we try in a better so with better words than me because i'm kind of improvising in english here yeah? and that's why we're trying to explain in this dossier and the next one will be of, about art and olfaction. And mm. So, about perfume as an art and about olfactive art. So. Mm -hmm. and, and here, as we have the, the, uh, the thing with Kyokjian, for instance, we always have here a, a portrait, a brand, brand uh, portrait. Uh, yes, I guess you, you, you have it here? Who? 
artist. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine looking guy, but he has. Yeah, but he does very good Persian, right? Is he single? No idea. I forgot to ask last time I saw him. Too bad. And. And here is a kind of genealogy, you know, that's, we come, we go from, this one is what? Andro Antique from Coty, and we try to draw, you know, the connection with the, 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 the perfume coming after this one. And to, ex yeah, to explain people, it's like in art, you have movements, you have uh, it's an inspiration from the chef de file, the, the, first, the, the first of a, of a line. And we made it with Le Chypre in the first one, and uh, this one it was Fougère, I guess, mm -hmm. if I remember right. Uh, and here are the, 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 the reviews. So we have, a reviews, we have reviews of 13, no, 30, 30 perfume, but mainstream and niche. We don't talk only about niche, we talk about mainstream either, mm -hmm. and we try, so, so we have 30, uh, review of 30 perfumes that came out between two and eight, you know, in, in the last six months. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, uh, so, we always say what we think. Mm -hmm. So they always say what they think because I don't write in it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and, and sometimes it's quite, uh, how would you say, you know, for... Direct. Well, yeah, <laughs> direct is <laughs> an euphemism, <laughs> you know. <laughs> when I say, uh, I, I love this one because I could say, uh, it spews forth industrial fruits, musks like detergent, radioactive sweetness, and gaudy amber woods. The result simply stinks. That's the kind of things you can. So I'm sorry for the pronunciation, but that's the kind of thing you can read it, read here. I'm very proud of that. And uh, so that's. I think that's wow. all. And so we sold 7,000 copies of each one in French, and in France, and in Belgium, either. Mm -hmm. And with this one, so that's the first one, the third one, the first one to be in English, and then, so it's, it's a work in progress, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, good. Because we're in the States, we're in the Brazil, we're, we're in, uh, even in Lithuania, mm -hmm. in, Italy, in France, in the UK, so lots of uh, in lots of places, and so as I'm quite alone to deal with this distribution thing, that's, so it doesn't go very fast. But so I'm very happy to be here. So thank you, Claude. Thank you. Yeah. That, that